Mr. Young? What would any good political speech really be without quotes to former political people and presidents? And Mr. Mayor, you had Ronald Reagan and John Kennedy, two of the most famous presidents in our history. I'm, I'm sorry I had to, to beat you, and I have three. <laughs> I didn't know that, that I was going to do this, but um, I'm including a wig for those of you that don't know. The first one is, and I don't know this will apply to anyone left in the room, although I see a few, uh, being a politician is a poor profession. Being a public servant is a noble one. Herbert Hoover, number 31, and if you don't know the difference between those two things, you're probably a politician. <laughs> uh, be a public servant. Number two, it would be judicious to act with magnanimity towards a prostrate foe. In other words, don't kick a man or woman when he or she is down. And after the election that we just had in November at the national level, I hope that you can all do that to your friends, uh, as in don't kick them now that they're down, reach across the aisle, and try and make amends. That would be Miller Fillmore, the wig, number 13. And uh, finally, this one's a little more famous. The ear of the leader must ring with the voices of the people. Um, we have to listen to you. And when we don't, you have, uh, well, you can just ask the states of Wisconsin, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Um, <laughs> remind us when we're not listening to you or doing what you want us to do on your behalf. And that would be Woodrow Wilson, the New Jersey, and the 28th president. Thank you to the men, there are no women, but the men and women of the police department, men and women of the fire department and all of the other groups, DPW and the township for everything that you do, you did in 2016, and you'll continue to do in 2017. Thank you.